Hey, what's up? Yo, back man. Uh, Yo. Man, what a week, what a week. I had two really good interviews this week. One with uh, my, my, one of my, well, well, you know, uh, you know, I was a sorrow in my organization, the Pentagon organization, talking about the elections. So I, I did that, but I did it more importantly, I did a, a really good interview with Eugene Redmond, who's the executor, I guess you call it that, for the Henry Dumas writing. So there's just some stuff happening around here. So I'm, I'm a happy pappy. I don't even think I have to talk to you this week, man. Yeah, unless you got something to say, I ain't got nothing to say, man. I'm drinking my water. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, man. So, uh, what do you think of um, you're hearing all over the place that um, everybody's you know boarding up their uh, their buildings and stuff like that. They're boarding <laughs> who? They're who? The hop? Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. You know about that? Wait a second. I got some CBD oil. I got. I had ordered when I was in St. Louis. That they got here. Let me take my dose of CBD oil so I can do my joints here. You know, I loosen up my joints. Hold on a second. Hmm. Man, not bad. Taste tastes like oil. I do it sublingually, okay. you know, under the tongue. That's how yeah, you do it. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. You do the regular oil. Yeah, like you do the regular oil. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm ready. What are you talking about? Who's boarding up with it? I'm down in Virginia. Ain't nobody boarding up nothing down here. Well, the big cities like L.A., New York, D.C. It, um, I think one of the D.C. papers, maybe on the Washington Post, they were even telling like students and stuff like that. What? To like stop what? up. Hold on a second. Wait a second. I got the Virginia pilot from, uh, oh, I got this yesterday, Saturday, 31st. They ain't saying nothing about no board nothing. What, is this a who? They're a real big city. What, I'm, wait a second. Let me go back. Why am I? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm flummoxed. I'm flabbergasted. I'm something like that. What, first of no, all, what are you saying, talking about? They, who? They're saying that, yo, you know, the results is going to cause rioting and stuff like that. <laughs> who, yeah. who says that? Yo, they've been saying it, man. You know, is this one of those self fulfilling prophecies? And they, and, 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 they, and, and they want it to happen. What? Who? I don't know. It could be some sort of predictive program, and I don't know. But the thing is, is that um, all through like the past couple of weeks, I haven't got like a video somebody has sent me. Um, and you know. Once again, it was a situation where it was like, a, it was a WhatsApp video. So it was like, I don't be checking WhatsApp every day. So I'm like, well, what is this? So I go look at it. And there it is, you know. It looked like it was um, like a WWE battle royale of like Q, <laughs> meaning QAnon, versus uh, Antifa uh, I, in the streets of New York when Giuliani was going by and stuff. But no, okay, hold on. I think I look. I don't. I don't know what you are. Right? I don't mean. I don't. I, I. I think somebody's confusing certain issues. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, if Giuliani is walking around any place, people were going to throw trash at him. That's that's that has nothing to do with the elections. You know what I mean? Yeah. If 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 but, Trump, but it was like uh, you know, still a lot of the vans and you know, it looked like a whole bunch of um, Escalades and stuff like that in suburbans with Trump flags on them and stuff. Trump pinch flags on them. <laughs> and they were like, you know, and the Antifas were like ripping them off, and then like the cues were coming back at them and grabbing them, and the cops were like confused in the middle, wearing their masks and stuff, but they kind of looked like cops, but at the same time, they kind of looked like surgeons, and then, you know, they were grabbing people, and the people were grabbing each other and stuff, and they were all fighting and stuff, like, it was crazy. It was, okay, hold on. <laughs> Can we just back up for just a second? Give me you the... just left New York and you missed it all. This is in New York? <laughs> Lordy, be up and could, like I, I'm not, look. I, I hang out around around you know Marcus Garvey Park. I'm sure nothing's happening around there because the old men be playing ch chess there and stuff like that. You know they be playing their music, so they ain't happening in Harlem. At least that section of Harlem. Nah, you know downtown Manhattan, downtown Midtown. Oh, you know, so because really, if you think about it, Pope has set the stage for like downtown and Midtown Manhattan to be areas for protests and all that other stuff. Yeah. Because all the working people, all the office workers are working from home. Yeah, I know. I, I did a report from uh, from City Hall. I went early yeah. on. And, uh, you know, but I think they they busted that, that place up. You know what it is? Come on now. You know what it is? Young people, get, they have to they have to have a way to vet. You know what I mean? Yeah. And since, exactly. and since they don't, since they, since they don't really know about Bitcoin yet, so I don't, or, you know, whatever. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I, I, maybe it's a new way to meet girls. I have no idea what's going on, but 
you know. Oh, well, part of it is, you know, meet girls or girls meet guys or, you know, today is, you know, meet whoever, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Just in case any young people should be listening to this or see this podcast, let me just give everybody, let me give everybody a heads up. Here's what happens, man. If you really want to get over in any situation, you have to go through an adventure together, right? And yeah. and the more I don't want to say life threatening, but more, the more adventurous the adventure is, the yeah. more likely as you come through the other side, you're going to bond on more than one level. Let's just put it yeah. that way. I'll be I'll be kind about it. So it's the normal, <laughs> you know, twenties and the thirties thing. It's yeah, you know. Hey, and then you and after you talk, hey, you know, oh, oh, you were so brave. Oh, you lost. Oh, blah, blah. yeah, that whole kind of thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, I, okay, so I think I understand. But board, what are they boarding up? Who's who? I think I think. Look, this is social. Soho got hit hard, you know, during the pandemic. You know, during the demonstrations and stuff. Oh, uh, that's because they got know, them. You know, Soho's like, yo, we ain't having this happen twice, man. Get the plywood out. <laughs> no, because they have they have those she she. You know, whatever you know, shops. You know, the the the, the niche shops, whatever. The you know, and stuff like that. Yeah, the gal. You know, those people got money. So I don't want to hear it. You know, uh, yeah. uh. Well, you know, he gentrified it years ago. So now it's like, you know, oh, we gotta, you know, blah blah blah. Oh, oh no, not us. <laughs> we're we're the part of. They're the problem, actually. They, I I swear to you, man. These people are driving me absolutely nuts. Between the academics and the liberals. I don't know what's going to, you know, I'm, I'm just hanging out with, look, like I said before, we, we might talk to you. I'm only hanging out with black men, you know, even the yeah. black women do what y'all need to do. You know, I put out this plea. To, <laughs> who was I talking to? No, yeah. was it you? I think it was Diane. I, I said, I said, look, the only thing that's going to save us, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I said, the only thing that's going to save us is white women, you know, save us. Now, here's the thing. Saving us from Kamala. Actually, okay, let me go back. I'm sorry I'm jumping up. Let me go back. Let me make it clear so, so it makes sense when I finally come out with it. Okay, everybody's talking about Biden and Trump. Okay, as we know, there's a tsunami against Trump, you know. So unless the Republicans really pull the, the, the you know, all the electoral things that they usually pull, you know, more than likely Biden's going to be the person, right? Okay. Yeah. Now, what this means? Now, let, let me go. Let me stop right there. Like, put a pity. I got to go back a little further. Now, people was upset when, uh, when you know, when you had the the, the squad people. You know, uh, the the AOC people, right? Yeah, when yeah. they capitulated, the yeah. When B Bernie and they capitulated to Pelosi, right? And yeah. people's going, like, "What's going on?" I thought y'all was like, "What's what's happening?" Yeah, you know, you know. And then then they, they, they capitulated to Pelosi. First day, first they went. First, it was neutral. First, they went, well, Bernie went to Biden. Then they said, well, they're going to do Biden. The people said, was questioning that. And then they stopped their beef with Pelosi. They said, what's going on here, you know? Here's the deal. You ready for this? Go hey, ahead, Jake. Okay. First of all, let's go to historical fact. You know, a president that's elected in the zero years, they're more likely going to either die in office or get assassinated, right? Yeah. Now, everybody, baby said, well, what happened to Ronald Reagan? But remember, Ronald Reagan had Nancy, and Nancy was doing the astrology thing. She was into all that occult stuff, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. she was reading the tea leaves. But if you really look at it, if you really look at it, he actually did die in office because he got dementia while he was in office, you know? Wow. So, so I'm just saying that boy would go on anyway. All I'm trying to say, in a zero year, you know, who's that? You know, you know they had the Lincoln thing. Who's, I forget the presidents, McKinley, whatever those presidents are that had the zero year, they all just die, you know? And, and usually the vice president, you and every time, you know, of course, the vice president takes over. Okay. And, you know, things repeat themselves. So, as we know, come on now, Kamala is, as I said in one of my conversations, Kamala's our next, next vice, our next, next president, right? Next, next. Yeah, the next, next. So the next okay. president, the next president is Biden, and the next, next president, through death in office, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be Kamala, right? Yeah. Now we all know that Kamala's not qualified for nothing, right? I mean, think about it. She boule, so black people don't like her, right? Forget that yeah. Soror thing, you know. Black people, black, black, black women shouldn't like her, but black men definitely don't like her. She will locked up enough black men, right? So, yeah. so black shit, black men ain't going for it, right? Black women, 
the, the most black women, real black women, they going like, ah, we into the boule, you know what I mean? Yeah, they, they they be messing a lot of stuff up. Plus, they're out, they're our inbred spies, you know what I mean? They they be spying on the race, as we say, you know, and cause all sorts of disruption and confusion. Okay, so that's out, right? Oh, plus remember, hey, think about it. The uh the Indians that are over here, these are Brahmins that are over here. They have these cushy jobs and stuff like that. This is not this is not like, you know, the underclass Indians, you know, it's not the, the warrior class or the merchant class or whatever, the, or that their little strata, that caste system that they have. You know, no. These are the Brahmins. With a Brahmin, if you rub if a Brahmin rubs up against they're like the academia, right? Yeah, well, don't, you, probably yes, 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 and, and and academia, the politicians, that kind of thing, right? But yeah, professionals, professional. But a lot of these folks that come up with these IT jobs, right? Remember, they come from yeah. a big family. They might be a Brahmin, but they sort of like coming here, right, and bringing their whole their whole caste sensibilities here, even though they're still sending their money back home, so they can really act out, be Brahmin back home. You know what I mean? So they're just enriching oh, yeah. their their caste. I've okay? with a lot of people that were like that. Okay, now remember the, the Brahmin code is this: a true Brahmin, if they even rub up against somebody like uh, of your complexion, let me say your complexion, because you darker than I am, of your complexion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then they gotta like do some sort of weird purification. I don't know, kill the person they rub up against, whatever the deal is, right? So yeah. now remember, Kamala, not, not only did she rub up against a, a, a darkie, because remember, okay, remember this. When when Martin Luther King went to India, he was in the southern India. I think he was in Kerala, which is the southern part. You know, means there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, what, what we call uh, uh, the Tamils in that area, right? And they even said, "Well, you know, you are untouchable." He got offended, you know what I mean? But then he realized what they were saying. Yeah, you know, you 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 black, you know, you they ain't gonna treat you like blah blah. Just like it's the same, you know. We got the same struggle. Okay, so what I'm saying is this. So not only did Kama forget her sleeping her way to the top, because she slept with more than just uh, the, the 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 big D, you know. The, the, yeah, yeah. But but her biggest thing is the the they got to just own it because she not only she only touched and rubbed up against the uh, up up against the 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 untouchable. She was like she was poked by the untouchable. You know what I'm saying? And, uh-huh. and now I'm not speaking out of so this is all in the news. This is old news. This is this is whatever news. And plus. Look, all I'm trying to say, he and he looked like one of them, one of them uncles back home that really looked like you know, if you take that suit off of him, you know, he looked like you know, he um, you know, he could be been begging in the streets or something like that. Talking about George, George Slick Willie, okay. So she, so they they disavowed her, right? So she said, "Well, who's what's what's the deal is?" So the whole Democrat Party, that's why they keep on, and and, and as you hear all the all the. Every time she talks about something, you know, she's she can't hold her own in no debate enough like that. Plus, here's my thing for her. I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm skipping around, but I have to do this because she got she, she got me in a tizzy. Here's what I call her. You ready for this? This is what I told Diane the same thing. Here's what I call her. Everybody says she's Obama 2.0, right? Because of the whole, you know, I, I'm black, but but you ain't you ain't shared out of experience kind of thing. And she be talking about legacy, like like the, the ancestors, like you know, Yvette Torrent. To everybody talking, and I heard him again. Obama said, "But you know, our ancestors, Obama, what ancestors you talking about? You ain't talking about our ancestors. Your ancestors is Kenyan and white. You know, I mean, you ain't talking about that no ADOS ancestors. You know. So anyway, so the same thing with with, with Kamala, right? Okay. Now here's the thing. When she did that cackling, I heard her cackle again, that laugh. I heard her, so she had a 60-minute thing. I didn't see the whole thing. But when she, as soon as I hear that cackle, that, 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 that cackling laugh that Hillary has. So I call her, she's Obama 2.0, but she's Hillary 3.0. What? You heard what I said. <laughs> she Hillary 3.0. Everybody thinks she's Obama 2.0. No, she Hillary 3.0. And she got that cackling, annoying laugh, man. I don't know what it is with these women that that that. that, that I, what is it with? Look, I'm, there's been plenty of women that that, that, that that go through. They don't be having that cackling laugh. Only Hillary had it first. Now, now Kamala has it. And you know what that cackling laugh signals that she's gonna be like, so, and she's gonna try to kill some more black men. Oh no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. No. International black men. Uh, remember, remember, is 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 Hillary that got rid of the the the, the uh, with the Honduran cats? Hondurans, as far as I'm concerned, they black. Okay, 
Okay, yeah. well, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just stretching the point because everybody wants to be black. You know, they, if you have problems, like you know, the whole hey Brazil, I don't, I don't care. With you had a hand in all that stuff, she was Secretary of State, and the big one is Gaddafi. Come on, she killed the yeah. man. Yeah, cackling. Oh, don't get me started on this, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so but here's the problem. So now, so you have some people that are saying, oh, yeah, but they want Kamala to be president. Okay, I, got, I, got, I got a little sniffle in my thing, so, so excuse me, I have to blow my nose and stuff like that. But hold okay. on. Uh, <laughs> man, I, that's just a dramatic effect because I'm going to lay this one on you. Okay. So Biden's gone. You do know, even if Biden, even when Biden is in and Kamala's in, who is the most powerful person in government if the Democrats win, I'll wait. I'm waiting. Do, 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 do. Who is the most powerful person in government, government, in the government, and running this country? If, if, if Biden is it, and, and what's name, and, and what's name is a what do you call a vice president? Who's the most powerful politician, making them the making them the most powerful person on the planet Earth? <laughs> Uh, Nancy? You got it. Ding, what? ding, 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 ling. Let me take a drink. It's only water, but don't worry about it. Let me take a drink with that. Yeah, ah. yeah I need some water behind that, too. <laughs> and that's why they all fell in line with Pelosi. <laughs> okay. I'm telling you, this is the plot. And my problem is that all these, I have, first of all, I ain't heard nobody say nothing about this. Now, I hate to be like Jimmy Dore, but let, let me tell you something. I am not the brightest cookie in the in a in a, in a ten pound bag. I'm, I'm you know, I'm just not. I, yeah. I everybody thinks I'm smart. I no, I'm sorry, just not everybody. A lot of people think I'm smart. Of course, yes, I'm a little smarter than I look. However, I ain't that smart. Okay. And let me tell you, if I can come up with this scenario, uh uh, uh I don't want to say a jack off comedian with a in a, in a, uh, in, in a what do you call it, in a garage, you know what I mean? Smoking herb, but that's not true. Um, a, a, a traveling marauder, a traveling marauder don't spend a whole lot of time on these things, just it happened to be stuck in the United States who desperately wants to get back to my wife in South Africa. If I can see this, then how come nobody else is talking about this? All these political pundits, all these geniuses, Bing, all these, you know, whatever, ain't nobody said nothing about this yet. I'm quite sure. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm, I'm trying to say somebody has said it, but yeah. I'm sure it ain't come to the fore yet. Nah. And and I'm telling you, man, and this is what this is what nah, bothers everybody wants to own it. But this is why this is what bothers me about the, all these academics that be talking about, oh, you know, and all my all my revolutionary friends, all my pan-African friends, oh, we gotta get rid of we gotta get it get rid of Trump. Okay, I understand, no, I no no problems like that. But again, like I explained to somebody, I say, look. If you're in a blue state, yeah, you want to get rid of Trump. But if you're in a blue state, you're going to get rid of him. But if you're, if you say you're a little Pan African group, or you're a little ADOS group, or you're, or you're I'm purpose saying, or you're a little FDA group, or we, you know, a little group, a little black groups, so we're not going to really affect this. You know, it's done deal without us. So what we need to do, we need to register. We need to register something on our behalf, right? And the most effective way to do that is to, um, well is to basically not vote for one, at least you're going to, if you are for some stupid reason you're going to vote for Biden, don't vote for him on a Democrat line because you just give him the Democrat party, uh, uh, you know, some some power. Vote for him another line, you know what I mean? Liberal line, I, I don't know. What you got in New York? The the working families, the whatever, well, the Cuomo's with the working families. But my point I mean, is... The working families, yeah. But you have also, isn't, doesn't he also appear, don't you have the liberal line in New York? Yeah, yeah. You got, um, okay, you got Democrat, Republican, liberal, green, working families. Sometimes you don't see liberal or green. Sometimes you just see working families and Democrat, Republican. And there's a new one now, the Red Dragon Line, too. Was that just the Chinese? Yeah, it's Democrat, though. Look, I, look I, don't, don't confuse me with that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I don't <laughs> And that, 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 that's that's so all kinds of confusion. I don't, I don't, don't. I, I don't have nothing to do with New York. I have fuck. That's I still, New York. That's what I'm saying. That's New York, yo. I still haven't looked at. I think I'm gonna get a party now. <laughs> uh, 
I got to still look Black up. Man party. I, okay, let's say for instance, you know, uh, 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 our senator is uh, is Werner, Werner, whatever, where, with the yeah. the guy, right? And he's going to get elected. That's no, that's no, that's no issue. So, yeah. so the way for, for right now, the way it's developing for me is, I, in his line, I will write in like producejustice.com yeah, on the senator line just to get that registered. Because, like I say, this 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 whole voting thing, I look at this, I look at it as, as an official poll. That's what I look yeah. at it. I don't look at it as no voting. Voting don't mean, it don't mean nothing to me, right? Yeah. Okay. So I got to find some place else where I'm going to write it, ados101.com, you know? But I'm, I'm seriously thinking that for president, I'm going I'm to I'm uh, um, vote for the Green Party person. Oh, okay. Now, the reason why I'm going to vote for the Green Party is just to give them some cachet for, you know, as they, you know, encourage them to keep on going along, you know? And right. And also, we listen to uh, one of the one of the Breaking Brown broadcasts. A sister called in because you know uh, the whole ADO strategy. We're supposed to be Operation Takeover. You know, we're, we're supposed to take over our institutions. The people are supposed to be going back into the NAACP and all the rest of the people like in, in some you know down ballot kind of things like that. But also, a sister called in saying that you know dude, she's she's infiltrated the well. I won't say it that way. She didn't say it that way, but you know the Green Party. So yeah, we need to have ADOs in the Green Party because these mechanisms they exist. You take over that too. Yeah. So, 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 because so, that's already has, because that has that has the infrastructure, and they always play lip service to you know, you know. I think they even have a reparations thing on that thing this year. I don't know. Anyway, I, I think I'm, I think what I'm going to come to because I had a little, I, as you as you may have known known from listening to some of my posts, I had a little fright there because I was almost convinced that I had to vote for Trump because I hate I hated Biden so much. <laughs> yeah. <I remember> that. <laughs> But, I, I, maybe I should have asked you that earlier. <laughs> like you know, you know, did you uh, you know what happened? What happened with that? Well, you know, after thinking about it, and 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 you know, I'm just going like, just Yo, so, so what was up with that uh, Mike Sawyer thing though? The, the what? Mario Van Peebles man, you sent me that. I, oh, I, I, this I didn't finish it because I had to go to bed because by the time I started watching it, it was like already. Um, daylight savings had already changed, so it was like literally two. <laughs> you know? That falls into the it category. Wasn't like, it wasn't like, you know, um, one o'clock, and this now is two o'clock. You know, it was like it was like already. That you know? falls. Well, no, I mean, it wasn't like one o'clock, and now it's twelve o'clock. It was like literally one o'clock. That know? that falls into my category of, like I say, these people that I don't know what are they talking about? The academics and the celebrities, you know. Yeah. They give us no real stuff. They just, it's almost like they're pushing their brand out there. You know? Yeah. I say that only to say because they're not giving you, like I said, I give, like I, I will say to you, look, if you're in an all blue state, then, you know, then you, it's going to be blue. So you, you might as well, you know, uh, write in or, you know, or do, or do something else. You know what I mean? If you're in all red state, same thing. If you're all red yeah. state, there's no need for you to take your little blue and write in, you know, write in and, and rather, click over do, do do the green party do something like that do something useful and yeah. then you can artic you know you can articulate why that would be right you know you're not wasting a yeah. vote or anything like that exactly. but when when I have idiots like these celebrities who say we gotta vote blue we gotta vote blue we gotta vote the orange man out I'm going like what are you talking about you are you stupid or something what kind of what what huh? huh what are you talking about you're not in a you're not in a red state. You're in a blue state. You're a little lining up behind around the block for you for uh, to go against the orange man means it's it's a waste. Of, you're wasting the energy. And yeah. if, if you're a celebrity, yeah, valid, man. yeah. But if you're a celebrity, I I, look, I can't. I'm fr look. I can't explain this anymore because it gives. It's not giving me a headache, but I'm just being dramatic. I'm being overly dramatic yeah. right now. But just just to notice the stupidity. And the, 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 the fur they go, you know, we got to go against the orange man. There's not that much going against in the world, you know what I mean, yeah, that would exactly. make me to go against the orange man, you know? It don't make no sense to me. All that energy they put out, I just can't, I can't get with it, you know? It's unbelievable to me, you know? And to go for it, somebody like Mario Van Peebles, you know, well, he's, he's inconsequential. You know, and they, they go around like they did something, and they go vote, they, like they're going to vote for something. I, I don't get it. That's all I know. Yeah. So anyway, 
How do you think the election? No, 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 I'm not even going to ask. No, no, stop. I'm not going to ask you no questions like that because it's stupid. We know how elections are going to turn out. But, but Mark, as I like yes, to say, yeah, don't. And I actually did ask a couple of questions about it. Like, what do people think? You know? Oh. But um, nobody really wants to say. It. They're afraid. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I, so I just, you know, I just stopped asking the question. I just said, you know, let me just, uh, to me, you know, I like, um, you know, when I see uh, that one dude on MSNBC, um, Steve Kornacki, I like when he does the polls and the numbers and stuff because it's, it makes it a sport. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, really? Because that's what it really is. It's kind of like an event. It's like a little sport event, you know. Okay, I don't follow these things, so go ahead, man. Tell me, because I don't have, no, I don't do the I'm TV. Saying, you know, he does the numbers. Okay. You know? Well, I, I the trust numbers, the numbers. What does he do? Stuff like that. So what's going on? Like watching the leaderboard when you're gambling and stuff like that, you know. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like you know, and he gets all excited and you know, <laughs> very uh, animated and stuff. You know, talking about different states and stuff and. You know, different counties, you know, if this county wins, you know, because of all the gerrymandering and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So it's very, very like pixelated quiltish, uh -huh. you know, of how things are going to go here. And if this happens, this is going to happen here. <laughs> and if this happens, it's, you know, it's like all speculation, like the same type of speculation you would have before the Super Bowl or something like uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that to me, it's like an event. Yeah, yeah. I'm not having that. You see? There you go. I'm not having as much fun as I should then. That's all this means. Yeah, exactly. I, should, I should be having more yeah. fun. <laughs> have yeah. you see what these idiots are up to, man. This is fun. I'm going to have yeah. fun going to the polls, you know, because I'm going to go early. You know, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, Tuesday. That's when it's going to be on there, you know, running the stuff down and, you know, well, once yeah. they switch back to, you know, the regular talking heads, mm -hmm. you can you go and, you know, get something to eat or drink or, you know, Go do whatever you want to do, but as soon as he gets back on there with the graphics and stuff like that, uh -huh. watch that part. Oh man! Uh, hey. I, well, you know, I guess I... even CNN's in the act now. They got they got their board, you know, with all the graphics going, where you know the dude can like swipe his hand and stuff moves around and stuff, but it doesn't look mm -hmm. as good. Steve Kanaki's his graphics are very, very, well, um, as well, you would say, well, visually user friendly. Well, you which, know what I'm saying? Which He's which really, which network is he on? MSNBC. MSNBC, okay. That's yeah, the, so if you must watch MSNBC, that's, that's what you must watch. Oh yeah, that's that's uh that's uh that's the that's the that's the lesbian with the long neck woman, right? Oh, you mean Peyton Manning's sister? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she looks like to me, Peyton Manning's sister. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia Manning. Patricia Manning looks like yeah, she looks like <laughs> Well, Miss Manning, yeah, that that thing, okay. Well, I, 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 I to tell you too, look, black man, I have to tell you this, man. I'm really not into TV. If it ain't on the, if it ain't on the tube, but I guess I'm, I have to pull myself away. Since you say it's that entertaining, I gotta, I can't, I think my sister's working at night. Yeah. I can, I, cause I have a TV. Try it out for like a half hour. See if no, you like I, it. I have a TV in this room, but I'm too lazy to go through this, try to sort out the channels and the, you know, the thing, the thing. I wait till she goes, you know, goes to work at night. And I'll go in there and turn. I think she has to work on Tuesday night. Yeah. yeah. I think she got to work on Monday and Tuesday night. Yeah. It's okay. Like, even so, now, every so often, they show him and they show the graphics of uh -huh. how many people already voted in total and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my little job. On Tuesday, I'm going to go to the vote. I'm going to go to the post early. I'm going to try to see how line I'll stand in line. I'll, try, I'll probably take a little stool, get a little stool or something like that. So I can, yeah. I, can, I can sit down like an old man. You know what I mean? I wish I had a walk-in cane, man. That would really yeah, you know, good. I already did it, right? So you know I did it. So I went there. Mm. You know, me and the family went, did it. So then, you know, they, they like want to give you, they have a, over here where you have to sign in. So you have to sign in on like the iPad or really a Samsung type thing. So they, they got a stylus, you know, pins with stylus in them and stuff like that. It was like, now nah, I got my own stylus. Mm -hmm. Right? So then, um, when you go to the scanner, they got somebody there to help you scan the your paperwork in. Uh -huh. So then I'm like, okay, so which way should I put it in? He goes, oh, just, just put it in over here. I'm like, yeah, but which way? Right? So now I'm playing with the guy because it's like, which way? <laughs> so he's like, um, you know, you, I said, you know, on the, do you flip it over? Do you flip it in? Is this right side up? Or do you put oh, it the yeah. other way and stuff? He goes, oh, no, no, just right in here. Just don't do it sideways. I'm like, of course. <laughs> right? So now he's playing with me now. So, so I put it in and stuff, and you know, um, I'm watching the screen because the screen has like a clock, 
Uh, and the clock sort of, you know, kicks away and stuff like that to let you know, like, the ballots being processed and stuff. He's like, don't go nowhere. I said, I said yo, it's the same my first rodeo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, I got this, you know? So he goes, okay, congratulations, you voted. I'm like, yep, I did. Was, was, did you have long lines? Yeah, the line was long. Yo, we had to vote. You, you know Creedmoor? I the know. mental institution place? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I we think. had to go there. Creedmoor. I was like, oh, snap, we're in the Isle of Horse of Creedmoor. It's like Shutter Island over here. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, we had to go to Creedmoor for that. Really? Yeah. Well, how, how long did it take you? Half hour? Hour? How long did it take you to vote? About 45 minutes. Okay. Like, the whole process from, you know, door to door mm. was like about an hour. Really? But it was raining. I mean, raining hard. And, you know, it was early in the morning. Like, literally, I was up at, like, 5-something in the morning. We got there at, like, 7-ish uh -huh. and stuff. And, um, you know, it was dark. And it was raining hard. And then, of course, you know, since it's raining hard and it's raining, everybody got umbrellas and stuff. But, you know, once it rains like that, social distancing sort of, social distancing is almost out the window, man. People sort of crowding, huddling and stuff like that. And I was like, yo, not with this rain and stuff, man. Like, I ain't getting no rona for this. Get out of here. Back oh, Wow, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Well, the I, line moved pretty quick. Oh, okay. Got in, you know. There was a lot of help and stuff like that. It was you know, it looked like a crowded gymnasium, sort of in a way. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, this is definitely Rona. It's Rona happening in here. You well, know, my but, usual voting place is at a, is at a, a, a high, a, a, not high school. Yeah, I guess a high school, some school, some school around down the road or whatever have you. I just jump in the car. I used to just go there, and you know, I will hang out. I have my. Yeah. I I listen to I listen to some podcast or somebody or some hour thing. Uh, Professor Black Truth or Black Authority just posted something, so I know yeah. they they they're, they're, that's good for entertainment for about a couple of hours. When these yeah. come, coming home, well, I think I had um I think I had on uh, Max. Uh. Either it was Max or Tone Talks. No, it was Tone Talks was online. Oh okay. I was listening to Tone. Oh, okay. Well, I, 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 I I'll see what happens, you know, but just. As I just want to get that out tonight, you know, just mark my, as my grandmother would say, mark my words, you know, Nancy yeah. Pelosi, if this is what this whole election is all about, how much power can we give Nancy? But what's going to be interesting to see if, if, if Mitch, if the turtle man goes down, see what happens with that. Yeah. Um, and that's about it. You know, I don't, I don't know if there's any other interesting stuff happening. You know, and if they, if if, if they, even if the Democrats are going to start trying to feel their oats like they got some sort of mandate to do something, and to see how black people are going to be when I say going to be, I don't know how have they been sheepled with these celebrities. Let's see, see, let, I want to see how many black people are sheepled. Let's put it that way. Yeah. With, with but the, see, I think that the narrative is going to be depending on who wins. It'll be like, well, black people didn't come out, or they didn't come come out enough. Or the classic blame black men will, will resurface, or it'll be like black people did come out and black women saved the day, <laughs> and then um, and then it'll be like um, you'll see on like YouTube and stuff like that, all the other platforms, social media platforms, they'll talk about the outliers. Yeah. But oh. the the main thing will be a yes or no, you know, black and white, yeah. meaning like black people we did come out or black people didn't come out. That's gonna be the talking points, I think. Yeah, well, I, I hope I hope we don't come out, darn it. I, I, <laughs> you know. So you, you know, want to hear you want to hear the talking points of black people didn't come out. That's that's right, man. I wanna I want us to make our mark, you know, because you know I'm, I'm for destroying the system. I'm not for because to me all they're trying to do is prop up the Democrat Party, you know, this the, the system. They everybody wants the system to live. I'm, am I the only idiot out here that don't don't want the system to live? They, they, they answer me that question, black man. You're not the only one, but the thing is, is that you got a lot of people that, you know, they want to live in the Matrix. They're good. They're like Cypher. You know, they want that stake and they want to be a movie star and they want to be plugged back into the system. I want the whole thing to crumble like I just crumble, you know, be replaced yeah. with something. You think? Because I, 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 just the last thing I'll say, you know. Because we don't want to make it too long, you know. We we'll have another discussion after the election. If you want to call, if you want to call, uh, hit hit it before 
like before next Sunday, you know, see what happens or just see oh, you mean like post election. Yeah, <laughs> okay. You know, you know, just 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 tell me. I, I'm gonna because I'm gonna pay attention because now now that you brought it up because like I said, my sister was gonna be working at night, so I don't like to watch. T I got a TV in this room, but. I don't have it hooked. Yeah, I, uh, I can't stand where I'm sleeping. I don't have no TV. Anyway, so I I just jump over to her TV in the other room. You know, on election night. I'll be up. I'll be up election night. You know, so maybe the next day, whenever you want. You know, we could we could do a little something, something, say something. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be. I'll see what happens. But 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 I, like like I said, my like my grandma said, mark my words. This is about Pelosi, and 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 but she you, she's but, the force. But I I definitely feel that. By the end of the night, say midnight, one o'clock in the morning, uh -huh. it still won't be official. And then we'll go to bed unfulfilled. And then come morning, it still won't be figured out. And then it won't be figured out for like two more days, I don't think. Oh, good. Then we can talk on Thursday, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm saying it probably won't be done till like Thursday or Friday or something. Yeah, let's talk. Let, let, let's try. Let's let's set it for. Let's let's talk next day, next Thursday. You, we'll see so what happens. Now I'm asking you now. Do you think it'll be um, you know, bigger than um Bush Gore with the chads and everything like that? I think there's because there's some stuff already happening in Texas and stuff like that. Because as you know, it, it's good. It, it, Forget these other states, you know, it's going to all hinge on, you know, like, like, uh, like Michigan and the regular state, Pennsylvania, Florida, yeah. Texas. Yeah. And it's going to hinge on that kind of thing. And there'll be other significant things, like I said, like, like, like with the whole Mitch McConnell, like the Kentucky thing, what happens with that, you know. Yeah. But what, but the most important thing is that it's like the Republican Party going down in flames. They, 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 that's, I don't know how they're going to survive this, you know. So, Oh yeah, I think for them in a way it's like lose lose in a way. Yeah, it's like he wins, we lost. He he lost, we lost. Yeah, so I I, I don't I, I don't because they have to reinvent themselves regardless. Yeah, so like that, and then the the, the Democrats. Well, actually, what happened? The Democrats became Republican, so that's why Republicans are inconsequential now. So. What can I say? You know, I don't know. But like I said, but it brought. But I'm telling you, I. I I think did I tell you that I told maybe I told you this one time there was this there was this website uh, I used to I like to say I used to I knew about it said I thank God you know and like somebody would get cancer or, or they lose a leg or something like that and they would say I thank God and then there was because of, the, of this tragedy it something else happened for them you see what I'm saying like that yeah so in a way I say I thank God for Donald J Trump. Cause he done exposed so many things, you know, and he done he done put so many people in blast with the true colors. Even if somebody like, you know, like D.L. Ugly coming at Ice Cube, Ice Cube clap back at him. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that kind of thing. It's just interesting to see these these yeah. who really is the sheeple and what and all the stuff that has happened, man. And Obama yeah. coming out talking about the answer he our ancestors. Oh man, that upset a whole lot of people. You know what I mean? Uh, wow. I don't think I don't think Obama can show his face any place. He tried to show his face in Florida or Pennsylvania, something like that. But it's, he's lucky; it's virtual, you know. But I don't. Yeah. And once they find out about his hood, hood, hood wicked, the whole thing about you know he's being the, the face of the NBA in Africa, you know how much money he's making and all all this all kinds of stuff that are coming up about him. Once that hits, man, and the old people that they really love them, they start dying off. Oh man, <laughs> it's going to be all over. So, so look, man, you have a, a good, uh, you know, evening. You know, I'll talk to you maybe on Thursday. Let's see, let's let's see what happens. You know, but in the meantime, you know, I, I ain't got, I ain't got, you know, I, I, even these days, I don't even. I like my Instagram, but I don't even feel like doing anything on Instagram. I just feel like chilling. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll chill for a couple of days. Maybe I'm gonna do some yeah, fun things. Me. Like there, I still got pictures to post from 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 uh, from from my brother's house in New York, and you know stuff that I came across here. You know, it's like that. That so I might post some pictures up on Instagram, but that's about about it. I'm not really going to do any commentary. I don't really have anything to say. You know, so I see what happened. I, I've been messing around with those little filters at night. I think I think I might create a night thing while I'm going to bed. You know. <laughs> give us some scary, <laughs> scary, scary face. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but I, I, because I, I like, I like Instagram, man. I'm having fun with it, you know. Yeah, yeah, I love it. 
Well, what's 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 this DM now? How would, I don't understand this DM. So I can slide into what? Okay, how do I slide into your DM? Oh, that's easy. Okay, that's, that's just a terminology meaning like um, you send me a direct message or a message. So on, on, the message is directly to me. So on on your page where it says message. Yeah, you I, click it. I click that. And I send you yeah, a message. They just type a message for me. Oh! You can send a picture, video, words, whatever. It's well, just like when I send you my stories and stuff. Okay. You know, the story is, is going to be for everybody if they see it within the 24 hours. Uh -huh. But I send it to you because you don't really look at my story. So I was like, okay, well, I'll send them the story so you can see it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. I see what you're saying. So like when I, when I have a list when I, when I, when I do my little... My little rants that you know yeah. that, that I have a list. I click on them. That's going directly to them. Yeah. But it also exactly. appears. But it also appears in the in the common thing. But only for twenty four hours. You're saying. Yeah, yeah. But those other people get it whenever they pick it up. Okay. Yeah. I think I understand. I, you know, I'm an old man. I love this old man business. I'm an yeah, old man, so I don't. You know, the Instagram stories is almost like. You know, it kind of it it serves two messages. One. You know, you're kind of doing like some sort of quick, you know, basic, you know, little show of yourself, right? Uh -huh. And two, once the person finishes watching the story, they may actually go to your page and see what's on your page. Okay, well, uh, no, okay. What's what's the real thing? There's a real, there's a real thing. Oh, real is new. So real, basically, is almost like the IG story in a way. Oh, who's but shorter? A who, a who story? Like the the Instagram, um, I mean, I mean not IG story, but IGTV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So before they they first came out with IGTV, so those were like longer versions of an Instagram story. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. And then now, because of the whole thing with TikTok, they came with with Reels. So Reels is like a short TikTokish type moment that you could do. Oh, I got. I, I, I don't think I'm into that too much, but I think I'll stick with the IG. Yeah, I don't really. My thing is like I don't really see the. I mean, I'm sure there is some value with reels, but for me, it's like doesn't really serve the purpose for me unless I was doing like, say, if I I did like a nice time lapse yeah. process video of of me working. Oh, you know, oh you yeah, can show that in the reel. Oh, oh yeah, sounds good. And, hey, yeah, and and I'd rather do that than do like a IG TV one. Yeah, because those are so much longer. You know, sometimes when like okay, when some if you notice talking heads, people will tolerate longer than if you're just seeing like a, a silent or a musical video right. of someone doing awkward. Because I was like, okay, how long is it? You know, draw the head. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you put the eyes in. Okay, yeah, yeah. put the feet. Okay, just flesh out the face. Just do it. Finish yeah. it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So okay, but if you're talking, you're talking about a subject and stuff. Okay, they're like. Where's he going with this? Yeah. What is he saying? Uh, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> uh, and then at the end, they might either be totally disappointed or they'll be like, I agree with him. I really feel sorry for the people that actually listen to me, man, because sometimes I, I go like I say. <laughs> oh, you feel sorry for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do, man. Because <laughs> sometimes I go like, I know these people. Because the funny thing about my stuff, because so you know, I have to listen to it back because I'm trained in radio. You know what you're doing radio. You listen to your own broadcast back, not because you yeah. try to, not because it's so egotistical thing. It's because you're you're basically, you're putting it into your, your being so the next time you do it, you won't make the same mistakes. You know what I mean? Exactly. You grow it's by... technical at that point. Yeah, you, you grow by listening to yourself unconsciously. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. that's what happens. So a lot of times, I mean, uh, not a lot of times, sometimes I listen to myself, I say, I know they didn't get that reference at all, but maybe someday in the future, they'll understand exactly what I did there. You know, I, I, yeah. I jumped from this point to that point to that point to that point, and, and they, 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 they seem like a non sequitur, but sooner or later, somebody's going to say, oh, I know what the brother was doing with that. Yeah. Oh, man, that was Me really now. sick. You know? That's the aha moment. Uh -huh. I have to say, I never said this to you, but one of my favorite ones you ever did that was on YouTube was, uh, um, where during the whole um, protest thing in the summer, uh huh, which one? And you got and you got mad at Whoopi. Oh, Grandma! Oh man! And that part, I mean, literally, I took a screenshot. I still have that screenshot. I was going to draw that one day, and then put a word balloon and go Whoopi. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Grandma. Grandma. <laughs> I said, Grandma. I'm still going to do it one day. I just haven't done it yet, you know, but it's like, you know. I got I to go back and look at that one because I, because I do them and I don't remember, but I got to go back and look because I remember I was really going like, what's the matter with that you? That one was like, yo. I said, what's the matter with you? I think you? I watched that like four times in a row. Man, I tell you. Yeah, well, do do, do that picture. I'll be interested. I, I told you, I, I was supposed to come back through, but I'm not coming back through to New York until January. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I still want, I still need the, the because uh, Henry Dumas stuff is going to be happening. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you about it. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll write yeah. you. I got to work on it uh, this week, I think. Okay, man. That's enough. Too much already. Okay. You know, we talk too much. Yeah. <laughs> That's what radio people do. All right, man. You take care. Okay. All right. Later. All right. Later.